Hey guys, I'm Josh from Lazy Acres and we're saving the world one trailer at a time. Today we're going to look at the 2020 Jayco J Flight 34 RSBS. This model comes in right around 9,200 pounds. It's kind of at that sweet spot, guys, that you can obviously park this kind of trailer and leave it permanent, or it's small enough that you can tow this thing around as long as you have a truck that can handle 9,200 pounds. It's got three slides, a bed slide, and two slides in the rear living room, uh, rear sofa. BS, I don't know what the BS stands for, but let's get into this trailer. Awesome, we have a front power jack right here. Okay, two 30 pound propane tanks. They'll be full from Lazy Acres, of course, with a nice black cover on there. A battery in a box is gonna fit in behind there. And a nice little light right here that'll light up so you can hook up at nighttime. We have a pass through storage that goes underneath our front closet area. Goes all the way through there to the other side. Nice work, cameraman. We have a bed slide right here. Um, that's pulling the bed off the floor, giving you a nice wardrobe slide there. Sorry, no, nice wardrobe at the front. Nice little bit of bonus storage here. This goes underneath your uh, bed. It's jammed full of boxes right now, so not a great look, but uh, there is storage underneath there. Um, we have a black water flush, city water connection, outside shower, and then this trailer is 50 amp, which means it's, pre uh, which means it's prepped for a secondary AC. Like always guys, when you're not watching our new videos, the options and the colors may change VIN to VIN. So always pay attention to that. Talk to your salesperson, refer to the build sheet. The 50 amp service, for example, is an option. It's not every single one. Uh, we have a six gallon water heater that's gas electric, fresh water fill, and then our furnace vents down here. This is our kitchen slide right here, pulling the kitchen off the floor, giving you a nice floor space inside. We got a range hood vent, fridge vent, radio antenna, cable or satellite in. And then I have a little bonus storage right here. This would be a smaller one, but maybe for sewer hoses or kind of rougher items that you want to use around the back side of the trailer. Right on. We got a roof ladder right here. You've got to get up on your roof, check your seals every 30 days, or sorry, every three months or so. Uh, you got to be up there sweeping off your roof with any kind of debris up there, um, just so that the slides don't close in on that stuff. We put a nice fancy pantsy Lazy Acre tire cover on there for you. We got LED lights outside as well as inside. Here's our main slide pulling our, our uh, theater seats and the dining out the floor. <clears throat> that's a rack and pigeon style slide. And then we have an awning that starts right here and goes all the way to the front. Right here. We have two outside receptacles, an outside TV spot, and actually uh, there's a bracket that comes with the trailer that hooks the screw onto a TV and hooks on here so you can watch TV on the outside of the trailer. Our awning is electric, has those fancy lights uh, built in, and then outside speakers actually built in the head of the awning. Awesome guys, let's have a look inside. Hey guys, we're inside that 34 RSBS. I remember what the RSBS stands for, it's rear sofa, bed slide. Uh, but yeah, let's get into it here. You're basically standing right beside the bathroom looking forward in the trailer. You can see we have a front wardrobe. So that's uh, his and hers kind of, because it's divided here, we have one section here. And then we have another section on that side right here that's divided. We have good storage in through here as well. All right, these shelves here are, are removable. You can pull those out if you want. Nice little bit of bonus storage right here. We got that same TV hookup we saw on the outside. All right, it comes with one bracket, so you have to use the same TV for inside or outside. We have receptacles and cable and satellite there. Windows here. Uh, what's uh, somewhat of a dresser right here with two big drawers. What's killer in this bedroom, guys, is all the floor space. You can actually bend over and get dressed quite easily. Um, have a look at the bed here. This is a king bed on this one. You have two sliding windows on either side, give you some cross ventilation, and then some two smaller cabinets there above the bed. Just spin into the uh, the washroom there, cameraman. So you see we have our shower glass enclosure. I like this style of shower because whatever's water's on the inside here is not going to end up on the floor. It's just going to retract back out of the way. We have a nice medicine cabinet. Decent amount of counter space for a washroom and a trailer. Good storage down there with a shelf actually. We have a porcelain toilet on this one. And then even more storage here. So lots of storage in the bedroom and lots of storage in the bathroom. Right on all those shelves in there. Awesome, come right through the washroom here. What makes this you know, trailer so awesome, not just the bed slide, but it's also the two slides here in the center. Uh, you can see we have a really open floor space, very, very big back here. 
Uh, we have a bunch of windows on the door side, a bunch of windows at the back. Um, yeah, let's uh, let's start back here. We've got all the storage here above. Okay, We've got these new black blinds they've put on for the for 2020. We have a sliding window here, so you're gonna be able to slide this window across, and you have all this airflow right here. And then we have more sliders right here for a lot of constant airflow going through the trailer. This is a tri-fold sofa, so it's gonna pull out this way. It's not quite a king bed, but it's bigger than a queen. Uh, so two people can definitely sit on there or sleep on there comfortably. We have good storage here on either side of the TV. We have a really big TV. It's either 48 or 50 inches. Uh, very, very large TV. And then there is storage in behind here. If I could get this latch down. There we go. So all that back in there storage for DVDs, books, whatever you want to put back in there. Okay. Storage down here. Built-in fireplace. That's electric only, so you can heat your trailer basically for free for plugged into to a site there. We have an eight cubic <coughs> gas electric fridge. We got good counter space here down the side of that oven. Bonus little cupboards here for the little odds and ends. We got stainless steel appliances, so stainless microwave, stainless oven, stainless fridge. And then, that's awkward, but uh, stores underneath there for a good spot for pots and pans or whatever. I do like how they have this seamless countertop, so it's not the solid surface that it, that's really nice, but this is seamless. At least the, the, the T mold's not gonna pull out of that. Good, good solid countertop there. Drawers built in. Another cupboard down below. Good spot for a garbage can. Wouldn't be a lazy acre video if I didn't say that. Good storage in through here for plates and cups and whichever. Okay. And then have a look here at the main slide. So we kind of skipped over that at the beginning. But we have the freestanding option on this one. That's not a standard. That's an option that's on this one. Uh, when you go to travel, you can strap these down. I like just actually laying them down facing each other, but that's up to you. And then we have our theater seats here that are actually facing our TV. That all makes sense. We have heat and massage in these seats. And of course, they recline. Very comfortable. It's a cold day today, so they have a nice cooling effect. But um, yeah, awesome, guys. That was the... 2020 Jayco J Flight 34 RSBS. If you like that video, hit like. If you want to subscribe, please do so. Our email is sales at lazyacres.com or our phone number 705 833 2539. Thanks, guys. Have a good day.